not the Negro. Yeah, I'm telling you that. I need you to understand why I'm saying that. In this segment, this is part four. We're about to get deeper. I'm going to get deeper in the psychological uh, warfare with y'all because it is time to unleash. Because I can't keep holding your hand. I might hit it on your hand. Oh, move. Listen here. Get this book, Brainwash. This is the number one topic of the day, Brainwash. This is why so many of our people today here in modern times are brainwashed. You are. You think you're not. I don't care if you're status quo. I don't care if you're a billionaire, millionaire, trillionaire. If you're only making $15,000 a year, it don't matter. You brainwashed. We are caught off in so many different categories. And if you don't see it because you don't want to see it, I'm not your Negro. You lost. Age don't mean nothing. You lost. I see you. I hear you. You all you want to do is downgrade your own people. You just want to sit there and, and, and flip on your people. For what? Why you want to do that? You don't even know how to hold conversation or introduce yourself. A good morning, a good night, a how you feeling? Gesture. And I know some of you go, well, you be nice. They act like you soft. And this is true. Because you hate yourself. You're brainwashed. You hear me? From religion, from politics, from money, and sex. They telling you what you supposed to be. But still call you a nigga when they feel like it. Still call you a nigga. You know it's true. I'm sure I'm in wrong. And I'm going to drop the message. You hate yourself. You're brainwashed. I'm challenging the myths. Of the black inferiority. Real talk. I'm challenging you. The myths of the black inferiority. You scared. You see another black man talking to a white man. You see him laughing and giggling, so on and so forth. And you giving him the eye like he ain't supposed to do that. But in front of each other or in front of them, you want to sit there and become obnoxious. Have animal ravishing behaviors. Oh, don't tell me I'm lying. Don't tell him to make it look like I'm, I'm not seeing or hearing what I see. You don't want to help each other. You help everybody else. Give them your money, your blood, sweat, and tears. With the quickness. I tell y'all to buy black products. You don't want to buy black products. Sure, they sometimes things don't work out right. Sure, sometimes we don't understand the methodology, what's going on. Understandable. We're going to get into a couple of examples today. I'm going to get into a couple of examples exactly what my black brothers and sisters do. For example, one, you're on Facebook, and so many people on Facebook is putting in that work. They're on YouTube putting in that work, educating the melanin race. But one thing I don't like my opinion is that some of our people don't want to get dirty. Get your hands dirty. Because you got to tell the truth. Because telling the truth 
will set us free. Then when somebody challenges us in any level of who we are, our behaviors, our character, we'll be able to annihilate them because we already got it out in the open. You've got out in the open your behavior, your attitude, and be able to deal with it. So if anyone challenges you, you'll look at them in the eye and be like, you ain't gonna tell me nothing, I already know. We fucked up. We know our ancient ancestors soul, our descendant first. We know that. We know they sold them to the Duchess. We know they sold them to the Arabs. We know this. You ain't telling us nothing. They made that mistake because they was greedy. We know this. What? What you saying? But what you ain't saying that some of our kings and queens went to war with a lot of these Europeans. Then you ain't talking about that. When we went to war and fought these Europeans that was trying to get greedy. Let's use Hades for example. 1804. How the Haitians dominated them. The French and the Spain. Let them know guerrilla warfare. I'll be right back. I'm back. Now, to let you know, 1804, they liberated themselves. It was a lot of sacrifice. Understand, it was a lot of sacrifice in these times. And some, some Haitian people believe because they was in the army that they could be able to sit down civilized and talk to the French. You see, they believe this. And let me tell you something. When you're dealing with the white man, now, I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell y'all something. And I don't care if you get mad. All white people are not the same. Some of the greatest black leaders today socialize eat dinner, have breakfast, eat lunch, and sitting right across no more than two feet and having meetings with white folks. We can sit up here and pretend children's little games all we want. This is actual facts. Actual facts. And I know it's 1804. Get this video. This video will help you understand. It's a documentary film directed by Tariq Nasheed. Tariq Nasheed is also the author of Hidden Colors. He is the author of Hidden Colors 1, 2, 3, and 4. I know because I have them. So brothers and sisters, understand as I break down slowly, schools tomorrow, schools tomorrow, and I'm going to drop it like it's hot. I'm just giving you small little things. I don't want to give give. give Give um the heavy stuff. But like I said before, 1804 by Hades, it changed about the how they um freed themselves. Hades wasn't playing. And because Hades did what they needed to do and to, and pushed back the French and pushed back to Spain, they pushed them back. And these white folks kept coming now, they wanted, they wanted their land. But I will tell you this. The Clintons, the ex-president Bill Clinton and his wife Hillary, they are getting to over two hundred million dollars a year off of Hades. Y'all hear me? I see you in my next segment.
Yeah. <laughs>